Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. And we got some news. We got some stuff to talk about. Some stuff that I don't really want to talk about. You know that super overhyped is coming to the game. Wow, yay, exciting. Let's get into it. So this is Or, uh, uh, story events, not, any, not anything super special here, really. I, I've never used the earrings, I've never used the hat. So if you need those kind of things, those, you can use them, I guess. I've never used them. This 10% MP is really not that worth equipping, but it is what it is. Nothing really special here. And Reddit's hero, heroine, Reddit's heroine is here. Guys, I don't care how steep the step up is, I don't care if anything like that. Like she's so overhyped it's unbelievable. Uh, if you haven't if you haven't watched my overhyped video, go ahead and check that out. Um, of course she didn't get any buffs, she didn't need any buffs, but like she is super overhyped. Reddit is gonna be pulling for her like crazy. Uh, if you have the dual units, I would not recommend going for her because she is you're gonna be really disappointed in her damage compared to the dual units. The duo units can burst way faster. It takes so many turns to get going. Uh, if that's not your style, definitely don't work going for her. And again, check out that Is Madam Overhyped video that I made a few weeks ago. Already detailing about this information. Uh, so, despite the step up being cheap and you can get a prism within like, what was it, like 37k or something like that, whatever, it's like... Or you can trade her, I mean, for... 37k or so, something like that. Or in a prism, I think, but still, like... I'm not, I'm not a big fan. I've, I've expressed my disapproval of this unit for a while now. I hate that she's so overhyped on Reddit. Extremely overhyped, so that in mind, let's just not get too much into it and move on. Now, this exploration takes a bit of time, I think. Uh, you can get lost in this one, but make sure you don't get lost. Uh, other than that, I've never used the gold crystal shard before, but it sounds interesting, but it's just not, not good enough. So, there are some goodies in here that you might want to find. And stuff like that, but other than that, it's just the normal exploration. Exchange shop, nothing extreme here, it's the same old stuff. This, I would definitely recommend avoiding. I would avoid it, because... Sure, there's a, um... There's a smaller pool. But it's, it's still... I don't know if it's worth it. Honestly, I don't think it's worth it. 10k? Now, if it was, if it was cheaper, if it was like, say... You know, 6k to 8k, I think that would be worth it, but 10? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think it's worth it, but most of you guys pull for it anyway, so it is what it is. You guys do what you want. I just don't think it's a good, I don't think it's a good idea to go for them. I think it's a good, better idea just to pull for, you know, new banners. So, with that in mind, let's move on. And here comes the story set, and this is a very good time to talk about that the story set actually does expire so the first part will expire on Saturday so make sure you guys are doing that if you haven't already done it make sure you're doing every quest you want to do uh, for that because the second one is coming at this date so with that in mind let's move on I keep saying that sorry and Ashura 2 star is coming but where is uh, Black Dragon Esprit, uh, 3, 3 star. They should have come out far before a sure a 2 star. So I don't know what's going on with that. They don't want to give us this one of the strongest Esprits in the game, I guess, right? Uh, sure 2 star is really nothing special. It's just a nice Esprit to have. Um, nothing really interesting. And her kit is basically, her, like, her fight is basically the same. Except... There's like a part at 19, there's like a 19% threshold that hurts really bad, so 
Yeah. <laughs> this is not an event, by the way. This is just Madam's Manor again. If you are going for her for some reason, you'd want to do this because you can get her gun. Not that one. Not that gun. There is a gun that you can get. Um, I don't think it's going to say it here, but she has a, a really, really strong gun that has earth element tied to it and gives her 50% HP and some other stats, so go ahead and do that if you will, if you want to go for her. Only 10% featured, not 20, that's, that's rough. They're really going to get people who want to pull for her, that's for sure. And the usual stuff that I don't really care for because it's nothing's going to happen from them. And also compensation for anyone who's pulled for anything. Or pulled for the Onion Knight banner early. So I think we're about it, guys. Are you going to be going for Madam? I am definitely not. I am good. I'll stick with my boy Onion Knight. His burst is... Sure, his burst isn't as high as hers once she gets to her A game. But he has his A game several, several times before she even gets started. So, I'm good with Ununite. I'm good with the duo units. So, let me know if you guys are going to pull or pass. And the keyword at the end of this video is hashtag pull or pass. It's not generic, something you can't really guess. So, you watch all the way to the end of this video, type in hashtag pull or, pull or pass. And let me know what you guys think about the news. What are you guys looking forward to in the future? See you guys in the next one. Peace.